What? Which one? Did, Konnichiwa, Ohio. Every time. Every time. Um, salute. Um, and hello. Welcome back to the menopausal view. I'm Jay. I'm Jen. And um, this episode is actually going to be talking about because I was rambling on. She's like, can we just turn the camera on? Because we're going to be using this as a topic for, con for conversation. So next weekend, I am going to Louisville, Kentucky. Louisville. Louisville. Kentucky. Um, to partake of the festivities in Louisville uh, with some girlfriends. So I am not a party kind of girl. Meaning for my birthdays, I don't really enjoy parties per se. I like like dinner and drinks with close friends. I'm more like that kind of more personal, you know, not just ran, hanging out with a bunch of random people drinking. That's not my thing. So, and one of my other girlfriends is like that. And so we decided along with the girlfriend that is a partier um, and some other lovely ladies that since we're turning 50 this year, that we were going to celebrate by this being our year of adventure. And so what we decided to do since I'm an event planner, I have been planning events for us. So planning little cheap trips for us to take because, you know, people get so wound up about um, how to travel. Everybody thinks that like going out of town costs so much money and it really doesn't if you know how to travel cheap. And so um, one of the things like I like, one of the things I like to do is I will like hotels.com. They're always sending me these little cheapy oh you've got a secret deal and all this other foolishness brad but, says happy happy mother's day oh hello bradley thank you very much thank you babes that's and, my son by the way y'all yes and so um i have learned how to travel cheap like elaine and i we have managed to travel internationally and we have a great time because we don't you know we don't go we don't stay at the hyatt but we also don't stay at the red roof in either if it's known to have bed bugs let's just put that out there on the map because i do my homework in that regard so um jen and i were just talking because like next for instance we're just going to do an overnight we're going to go go to louisville and do an overnight and um but we're going to visit the mega caves while we're down there and do the tram ride um you can also do the zip lining through the mega caves. There's like a cave tunnel thing all under Louisville. Um, it's underneath the city. And so you can do the tram ride down or you can do the zip line down. So we're going to do the tram ride because I've done zip lining and it really is like poking fun at God. And I did not enjoy that at all. Like one time that was enough. God got me through that, and I, I'm thankful for that, and <laughs> uh, and I apologize profusely after that was over with. Like, God, I'm sorry. That was not, that was a Groupon. That wasn't me. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, um, anywho, it ends up, what are you doing? I'm trying to figure out why we're not getting any comments showing up. I don't know. They'll come. It'll come. And they're, if we don't they're... answer you right now, we'll answer after the show because this because Facebook hates us right now, so it is what it is. So, but after the tra tram ride, then we're going to, um, we're going to, what else is on the list of things to do? There's the bourbon experience on Sunday. I don't even drink bourbon, but I wanted to, they, I've heard really great things about this bourbon experience, and Kentucky, Louisville in, in particular, is famous for bourbon, so... Um, we're going to do that, and then we're also doing, um, oh, Saturday night, we're going to do one of those pedal trolley things, the things that you trot, you pedal around the city, like there's 12 of you, um, like a bicycle, but it's a giant trolley, and they allow you to drink booze on it, so there's that, so, and eat, and it stops at a couple of bars along the way, da 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 
But they also in Louisville have the Big Four Bridge and it's beautiful because it's all lit up and with the colors of the rainbow. And you can take pictures with one foot in Indiana and one foot in Kentucky. So that's a goal of mine now because I'm turning 50 and these are what my goals look like. So there's that. Then I have this new thing where um, I decided last month, last month I decided that I am, before I leave this earth, I'm going to have pictures taken in front of as many of the world's largest uh, as I possibly can. So they have the world's largest baseball bat down there in Louisville. And if you go 15 minutes further south, you can get your picture taken with the, the world's largest tube of sausage. <laughs> Don't think I'm not all over that like a bad rash. Just gonna say that out loud. So um, doing that, but Jen and I were talking about it and how she's like, you know, I don't travel because I don't really know how to travel. I don't know how to um, travel cheap, but yet have a good time. And so, for instance, we are going down there. We're gonna, there's gonna be four of us that are gonna split a room. Um, so the room turns into $25 a night, you know? Um, not even 25, it's like 22 bucks or something like that a night. Um, the car ride down is gas money. We're all going to split that four ways. Um, the experiences, I, I simply got on Eventbrite. And Eventbrite, if you're here in the United States, if you get on Eventbrite, it's, it's in every city. You can find things to do or go to your Chamber of Commerce, um, or the visitor's page, the visitor's guide for your particular town, whatever town you're looking at visiting and see what there is to do. Like see what's the, what are the things to do, you know, in town and then figure out what's in your budget. Um, also look on Groupon, groupon.com and Living Social um, and Deal Chicken. Look on those to see if you can get coupons. I'm, I am famous and my daughter is even better at than I am for if I find an, an activity or something that I want, just Google coupons for mega train tram ride or something like that. And by doing that, I found a 50% off coupon. So a $16 ride is now $8 for me. Just saying. So Groupon right. is the way to go. Groupon, coupons, splitting the, getting other people to go with you that, you know, you're, you can't travel with everybody, you know, but people that you are happy to travel with are going to make great traveling companions. Um, but there's so much to see in the local areas. You know, get out of your comfort zone. Drive around a little bit. If it's just a little bit of gas money and maybe an overnight stay or something like that. You know, you figure, so this trip to Louisville is going to cost, it was $63.00. For all of the activities combined and then another say 20 bucks for gas and another 20 bucks for the hotel and food and like whatever other so 100 and you know like we're gonna say 100 120 bucks something like that um Oh, and we're also, because see, a lot of the stuff, like the pictures in front, you know, all that stuff's free. You go down there, you take pictures, you you walk around. Um, the On the way coming back, we're going to stop at the Bernheim Forest, because that's actually in route. It's it's on the route. And we're going to take pictures with, have you seen that, because actually they've advertised it in the paper here, the giants that um, are made out of wood. Have you seen that? There's some artist that put... He built giants um, out of wood in the forest, in this Bernheim forest. And the forest itself is supposed to be beautiful in and of itself. Where is this? Uh, it's on 75 South, going down 75 in South. Ohio? Uh, no, it's in Kentucky. But it's not. It's between here and Louisville. That sounds so cool. It is very... I have to show you the and pictures. And it would probably now. cost you nothing to go in and do it. It's, at, it's free. I want to do it. It's free. Yep. So, um, and they've got... I don't know. I, I, I thought I saw that there were four or five giants, um, but like, it's really cool. They're like this. They're like a giant that's like looking over into the lake 
And then there's another one that's kind of sitting up against a tree. And it's just a really cool art display that's interactive. You can take pictures sitting on top of it, you know, around it, in front of it, whatever, whatever. But um, these are all things that are free. These are all things that don't cost you anything to do. And so I just thought that it would be a really cool thing to so, be able to do. So if, um, because I, I, last year I went on a, um, a group trip to Hocking Hills uh -huh. and I have to tell you, I had an absolute blast. I went with two of my best friends and their husbands. So it was a, it was a three couple uh -huh. weekend thing, week thing. And we absolutely had a ball. Did you look for coupons? No, but the reason why we Gotta went was I oh. had a friend who had a house. Okay. And we were able Which to... Which is even better. Yeah. So we were able to get like a week. It ended up being like $100 for each of us. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So it ended up being a very, a very good deal. And we had... Um, and we went on a train ride and we got robbed at the stagecoach kind of thing. Oh, that's cool. It mm -hmm. was. It was a lot of fun. And... So, and it had, that was my second time to Hawking Hills. Mm -hmm. I had my, when I was married to Tim, we went to Ravenwood Castle out in Hawking Hills. Mm -hmm. And so this time, so the reason why we brought all this up is because um, my mom and my sister, her husband and their child are going to go to uh, Gatlinburg um, the first week of June. Mm -hmm. And Sean and I had originally talked about going with them. And then we decided that it might just be a little bit too far for us to go down there. Mm -hmm. Um, as much as we wanted to go down and my neighbors went just a couple weeks ago and told me about this awesome comic book store down there. And I'm really disappointed that I'm not going to get to see it because I was l really looking forward to that. So now we're looking for something close mm -hmm. that we could do for, cause he's still off that first week of June. So we're looking for something close by that we can do that's not home, but still be away from home, but not too far from home. So I would say, like I said, Louisville is, I had no idea that there was that much stuff to do in Louisville. I really didn't. Um, it is a, a fairly interesting place. There's something, and there's, it's not a lot of like super expensive stuff. Is Louisville the so, one that's like, Two hours it's or two four hours. hours? No, it's two hours. Okay. And so... Florence is the one that's four hours. No, Florence is right across the river. Nope. Lexington's an hour and a half from here. Louisville's two hours. Okay. So, I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. All right, I don't either. Hmm. Geographically anyway, challenged. It's okay. It's, it'll, it'll come to you at four o'clock in the morning. Yeah, of course it will. Uh-huh. Um, but anyway, things like visiting Northern Ohio. You can have a mission to check out diners, drive-ins, and dives, some of their spots. You know what? I had to tell you that that is one of my favorite things to do is yes. to check out like dive restaurants. And I will tell you, they are that is like my favorite. Make it your life's work. I'm telling and, you. Well, every time we go to Columbus, mm -hmm. there I have you, I love truck stops. Okay, mm -hmm. I have a little special thing about truck truck tr tr stops. Everybody has their thing, then that's all. Awesome. I love Love's gas stations, T Trans America gas stations, and Pilots. Okay, mm -hmm. because they you go in and they've got restaurant. They got a like a homegrown restaurant. Mm -hmm. They've got nice clean bathrooms, and I can almost always find either a blingy purse or something Wonder Woman. Okay, so these are my these are my places when okay. we travel. Okay, and there's one not far from us. When, when we go to Cleveland and Columbus mm -hmm. at the um, Jeffersonville exit where Tangier's outlets are. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's, mm -hmm. a, there's a TA out there that has like a homemade restaurant that every time we go through there, we have to stop in there now. Because you get a steak that's this big with yeah. like four sides and a salad bar for like twelve ninety nine, and you yeah. have to wonder where the where the beef comes from. You don't ask questions, but you don't ask questions because it's really questions good. That you and don't it, want answers to. Yeah, exactly. But it's really good, and you get full, so you're gonna go home with a full belly. There you go. So that is one, of, and then we we found another one um, yesterday. That the last time we went up, it was a really nice little. It was a dive bar or restaurant, mm -hmm. and when we went down to your house. Remember? Yeah, the little Chinese restaurant. So we went, yeah. we went down to see Jocelyn one day, and um, we were not 
connecting on the phone to let her know that we were there. Mm -hmm. So we were like, let's go find some food. And so we drove around and I, you know, put in my GPS, find the closest decent <laughs> restaurant. Mm -hmm. And it took us to this little tiny, literally it was a hole in the wall. There was a, a, a line of shops and it was like this big. <laughs> and if you like, if you blinked, you'd miss it. Exactly. Yeah. We go in, there's like five booths and like the place is full. One waitress. Mm -hmm. And we're we're there and 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 we're like we may not get to eat before we hear. And by the time it was all said and done, this waitress was hysterical. She was giving every single person in there a hard time, and it wasn't like rude hard time. It was a funny yeah. hard mm -hmm. time. You know, like one of the the all of the people that came in were regulars, and they were giving them our, giving her a hard time. Like we came Monday, but you weren't here. And she's like, well, I have to cut my grass sometime. You got to <laughs> give me a break. You know, I mean, she had us cracking up and I didn't know that. So when she went back there and, and someone else came in, I said, I think she's the only one working here and they, I think she owns it and cooks and, mm -hmm. and they're like, Oh no, her husband's back there cooking. We've been coming here for 35 years. We've never seen the husband, but he's back there cooking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And she remembers like every single person that comes in and what they mm -hmm. eat. And, and I'm just like, okay. That's I love. I love spots I like love that. places like that. Have that. Person, I like places that have personality. Now the now the bathroom looked like it was from 1910, but you know it was still that kind of personalized service. You mm -hmm. just so yes, that is one of my favorite things. I'm sorry, I digress. And it's okay. I'll tell you another place that you and Sean can go. Um, Milan, Indiana. It's right outside of Indianapolis, and it has the restaurant that was featured on. Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives is called Zydeco's, and it will knock your socks off. I've been there twice. I've done the two-hour drive twice just to go to this restaurant. And then, because the first time I went, I went with Elaine, and then we decided to go antiquing after that. And there's a really cute little antique store a couple doors down, and that's where I got some more of my glass chickens, because I have a thing for Maybe glass chickens. Maybe you can tag people, tag them in this video. Yeah, absolutely. After, after we're done and we post it. Yeah, and um, I'm going to tell you that Zydeco's, their food, it's authentic New Orleans cuisine. They actually came from New Orleans and um, transplanted up here and brought all that stuff. And it has that, the the New Orleans vibe. Is it as spicy? soon as you, it, I mean, some of it is, but some of it's not. I mean, you can get it not spicy, some of the stuff. Okay. I mean, so they have like po' boys and um, now, of course, like, because I got, oh, what is this called? It's, it starts with a T. I'm sure. I it don't is know. the parts of, I want to say it is the nether regions of either of a cow or a pig. And I can't remember which one it is. It's delicious. It's spicy. Delicious. I've had it. I'm just going to say that out loud. Um, my husband, of course, would not, once he figured out what it was, would not try You know try that it. face is going to be a meme. That's the way it'll stick. That's what's, That's exactly what will stick and be our, our thumbprint, our hey, thumbnail. You have to do it with me then. Then. Yeah, it's, yeah. <laughs> yep. So, but anyway, they, um, they, their food is amazing. I've had the gumbo. I've had the shrimp etouffee. I have had this first time I've ever had shrimp etouffee, and it was the bomb. Um, I have had uh, jambalaya. I have had the So is there a place out there somewhere we could stay for the weekend? Yeah. Yeah, they have little hotels and stuff. And it's not expensive. Like I said, it's in Milan, Indiana. People are like, where the hell is that at? So, yeah. I mean, it's, it's an inexpensive. It's a cute little quaint town. It's not... Um, and the people are really nice. You know, the people are really nice. The owners, they come out and they talk to you and ask you where you're from and all this stuff. And we actually took pictures and stuff with them. And it was, uh, it was a nice visit. So that's a nice place. Like I said, it's a short drive, a couple of hours up. Not even a couple of hours. It might have been like an hour and a half. Um, I'm going to say something else. West Virginia is beautiful. That's a beautiful country. Um... Isn't that you have to go through West Virginia to get to South Carolina? Yeah. West Virginia has so many mountains with very long drives without a potty break. <sighs> oh, you have to worry about potty breaks. I forgot. It's, it's, beautiful, it's beautiful, though. It's and, beautiful. And that's the thing. Like, I, I love 
I love if scenery. they had porta potties in the middle. <laughs> personality, right? You better learn how to drop your drawers, like open the side door and drop your drawers, and and just and, and just, just let it go. Let it go while it's while you're yeah. driving. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's what rest stops are for. There are rest stops. No, not when you go from South Carolina to yes, West Virginia. Attention. When you go, when you know, when you go on that mountain, and it's like um, it's a sheer. You don't sure have to go of, through the mountain. They're always the way. I mean, it might be a little bit longer around, but you can go uh, and not go well, through. Well, that's always the, the way mountain. that everybody I go with always goes. And I get so car sick, and I'm just like, mm mm. Yeah. And everybody's like, come to South Carolina. I'm like, no. Mm mm. So, um, Pennsylvania has some interesting places to visit. Um, now, that's where my son lives, is in Pennsylvania. How many times have you been there? I have n I've been to Pennsylvania one time but it was like 25 years ago then you have to go back because pennsylvania has some interesting places to visit um they've got little towns that you can and the thing of it is like you can go to a major town and then look and see what it what there is to do in the surrounding areas well now let me tell you what i wanted to do okay what i really wanted to do um i wanted to go to superman days where is that at it's in metropolis mm-hmm which is in the great state of Chicago. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's about, I want to say it's like three hours from Chicago. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, but it's in Illinois. Um, the problem is, is that the Superman days goes from the 6th to the 10th. And Sean has to go back to work on the 7th. So there is no way we could make it up there and back before he goes to work. That is ball busting. I may, I may make him take that weekend off just so we can go to Chicago because I really, I've always wanted to go to Superman days. I'm going to say this. If you want to go do something, go do it. Like take the days off, take the financial, well, we're hit, taking, whatever, the, we're taking that week off anyway. We're just talking about making it instead of a week off, it would mm -hmm. be two weeks off, which would really cut into his vacation time. But it's something I really, really, really want to do. I really want to go to, I want to, and convincing him that he can take time off is another, it's a whole another ball game. So, you know, I am Prince's number one fan. And by number one, what I really am trying, I was trying to tell her earlier, what I was trying to tell her is that there really aren't any other Prince fans. There's just me and people that know who he is. <laughs> And so, <clears throat> um, is that like me and Christopher Reeve? Yes. Okay. I understand. So, but you know, we go through life and we're always like, well, I'll do it later. I'll do it later. I'll do it later. When I was in the thralls, when I was in the, <laughs> I was hardcore Prince fan when I was in my teens and he came here to Cincinnati and that's when Simon Lee's banned him because he showed his ass on stage. But um, I was also eight and a half months pregnant. And so my mother, because I was like, oh, I'm going to the Prince concert. And my mother said, I bet you won't. And I didn't because I was pregnant and that would have been all bad. So then he got banned from coming here. So I missed that window. And then it was 20 years or better before... Um, before he was allowed to perform here, if he's, if, if that ever got dropped. I think it did get dropped shortly before he passed. But then I got grown, and I, I you know, periodically I, I, I'd have the money to go and see him somewhere, and then I, you know, somebody said, oh, well, you know the tickets, and then I'd start with, the, oh, the tickets, and then, then the plane ride, and da, da 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 Oh, I'll wait until he comes closer. I'll wait till he comes here. And you wait, it's always tomorrow. Always, I'll wait till tomorrow. It'll, you know, it, this is something I can wait. Oh, I can't wait to see him perform, you know, at a later date because something else was always more important. And then he died. And I never got to see him in person. I never got to see him perform live. And I regret that to this day. When I say I regret that, you have no idea how much I regret that. I get it. So, I have the same problem with <clears throat> Linda Carter. You know, she's a singer too. Yes. And if I, if I ever meet her, she is on my bucket list. I want to meet her before I die. Then make it your life's work to go and meet her. I want to meet. I, I want, mean, like seriously, find out where I the want lady to, is. Like, Stalk lick her, her shoulder if you have to. or something, just so I can like taste her greatness. I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna say this again to those in the back that are listening. 
as your stars get older, they become much easier to stalk. <laughs> I'm just saying. And she she's my queen, I swear. I love her so much. She is like the greatest. There I you wanna... go. Then f figure out where she's having her next signing Anybody at know whatever. how I can get a hold of Linda Carter? Anybody friends with Linda Carter? Go online and just find out, you know, where she's going to be for her next... I'm sure she's written a book of some kind or she's signed an autograph somewhere, you know. I would be go on her on her on her fan page or her website or whatever and find out where she's gonna be at, you know? Um so anyway, I am in July, my best friend is taking me to Paisley Park, Prince's home. And so they offer tours and everything, you know. And at first I was like, Oh, you know, we're gonna do the sixty dollar tour or whatever it is. And then I thought I'm like, no, I want to do the whole kit and the caboodle. whole thing because I'm like, this is a once in a lifetime trip. I'm going to spend the extra because I would come home and spend it on wigs or whatever. And I'm like, no, I'm, I want to do everything. I want to see everything there is to see while we're there because, you, you know, like I said, it's a once in a lifetime trip. It's not like I'm going to make a pilgrimage once a year out there. So... You know, try to try to travel, try to see the world. It's not that terribly expensive, um, especially when you save up for it. If it's something that's not in your budget right now, we we find money when it's something that we want to do. It's true. We will find money. You best believe these little ten and fifteen dollar wigs. I can go without a few wigs, and instead put that money over into a little thing. You know, if it's if I'm that hard pressed for it. Put that off to the side and say, okay, I'm going to put this for as my travel money. Like, okay, well now, instead of a wig, I've got gas money. Or we could get back. sponsored or by I've a got... wig company so then we wouldn't have to worry about the wigs. Well, that's an idea, isn't it? Just saying. Wig companies, we need you to sponsor us. Just saying. Mm-hmm. Just so, a thought. Get out there, see the world. Go see your artists. Um, you know, live your best, live your best life. But, Again, if you're looking to travel cheap, Eventbrite, Groupons are great. These are great for activities. And they actually have trips on there too, like if you wanna take a cheap a cheap trip. Um, I know Eventbrite does specials and Groupon does specials. Um, Eventful, that's another one, eventful.com. You're gonna to have to tag all of these. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think of all the resources and then, even after you like put your trip together, let's say that it's an inexpensive thing anyway, but it doesn't have, you didn't get it off of Groupon. Always, always, always look at like Google coupons for whatever the activity is. And a lot of times it'll give you a coupon code that you can put in that'll get you 10%, 20% half off. You never know. So there's... There's an idea. Those are great, some great ideas. I really appreciate you sharing that with me. There's no problem. I am the queen of the hustle. I'm the queen I know of you are. To I want to be just like you when I grow make up. Make a dollar out of 15 cents. I want to be okay, just like you when I grow up. I don't think you do. I don't think you do. I have three bellies. I don't think you do. Have we met? <laughs> We're the same anyway. size. I think I'm a little bigger, <laughs> bigger than her. Anyway. I'm shorter, so, you know... So, there's that. Um, and if you guys got some tips for travel tips, you guys like to travel, throw them out there. We're all family. Please. We're here to learn from one another. You know, if I know something, I'm happy to share it with you. So, there you go. Anyway, so that's that. And I think that's it for this evening because it's now 7.15 here in the United States. And I know in the UK, we're after midnight now. Now it's run over into after midnight. So, um... Yeah, so that's all I got. You got anything? I, I I'm, I'm, I'm done. You're tapped. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, then that's it then. So we love you guys. Hello there, Miss Christina Butler. Good to see you again, Dollface. And um, we will see you guys on the flip side. If you guys did leave comments, I'm sorry we can't see. We aren't seeing any comments. Sorry, guys. We don't know what's going on. So anyway, but we'll be able to read them after we sign off. So we'll go back through and answer you know, or comment or whatever. Because we always, we read all the comments. We do. Sometimes we reread them. And and so, post and send random yep. things. And we Keep love, going. we love going through our, our comments. Yes. The, the comments make our, it makes it all worth it. Yes. It really does. It really does. 
Yes. And Zara, thank you very much for calling us beautiful and nice I, we, in the last video. Thank you, you very much. We love you. I, I appreciate a good hustle wherever I can get it. Anyway, we'll, we'll see you good people on the flip side. Until the next episode. Happy Mommy's Day. Happy Mommy's Day and stay fabulous stay and fabulous. we love you. Peace out.